Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to another track by track video. Um, I know it's been a while since I've done a track by track video. Um, a few months ago, I said I'll be taking a break from them because I was doing them a little bit too much, but now that I've taken a break, and stuff i think i'm ready to do uh, do them again i'm not gonna do them like over and over like i did before but i'll do one every once in a while now and today we have a uh, special one for for um a guy that i'm gonna give a shout out right now and his name is julio rios shout out to you shout out to you man thank you for thank you for uh i'm requesting this track by track because he wanted me to do kiss on mask Versus Vinnie Vincent Invasion. Now, um, um, Julio wanted me to put these two tracks, uh, two albums together, and um, I said sure. And plus, um, I want to thank you, um, Julio, for for your kind words and stuff. Um, thank you for for your kind words on my videos stuff. I'm I'm glad that you enjoy my channel, and to all of you who enjoy my channel, thank you so much for for watching and stuff. But now. Um, let's get on with it. Uh, Kiss Unmasked and Vinnie Vincent Invasion. Um, I like Unmasked more than, than Vinnie Vincent Invasion. Um, not, yeah, I actually kind of like it way more than Vinnie Vincent Invasion. I'm not saying I hate Vinnie Vincent Invasion, though, but it's a, it's a little bit too over the top, over, like, trying to be try hard at being sleazy and glammy and stuff and flashy at the same time. Like some of the souls, in, um, Vinny does here, like are they're just really sloppy most of the time, and like the, he gives, he makes uh, what's it called? Like he, I think, I think is some of his souls here are, are more over the top than some of Inve Momstein solos, but so he does have some decent souls on on some songs, but yeah, um. Back on Mast, um, this was one of the first Kiss albums I ever got when I was like 10 years old. And I used to love it a lot more when I was younger, but as an age that went with me, but I still like this album. It's still a good album to me, it just hasn't aged well. But yeah. Um, I uh, got, let me see, what else can I say about these albums? Oh yeah, um... Both of these albums are, uh, band, are, are both Kiss and Vinny Vincent were jumping on trends at this time. Kiss was trying to do late seventies, early eighties pop. Kiss was trying to do like something like Cheap Trick would were doing at that time, while Vinny was trying to do something like Poison was doing at that time or other glam bands. But yeah, I don't own this on CD. I just have it on cassette. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to show you what's inside of here quickly, just a picture of the band, and, uh, made to be played at maximum volume. Um, another reason why I don't think Vinny Vincent Invasion is as good as Kiss Unmasked is the vocals. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of Robert Fleischmann's vocals. They're a little bit too high-pitched and stuff. Um, I can, I can tolerate them, but they're just, but they're not my cup of tea, though. I don't, they're not like, you know, I'm not too crazy about them. But yeah, without further ado, let's get this started. I know the track listing's incorrect here, but I have, I have the track listing. I remember the track listing in my memory, so yeah. So here we go. Track one, we have Is That You versus Boys Are Gonna Rock. Um, is that you? Not a bad song. I used to like it more when I was younger, but still though, I think it's a catchy, fun pop rock song with hooks at, at every corner, and it's not that bad, actually. Um, Boys Are Gonna Rock originally was supposed to be on Lick It Up, and it was, and it turned into On The Eighth Day, um, and then Vinny decided to redo it for this album here, and it's actually not that bad. I like the bass work from Dana Strum on here. It's one of the few times you can actually hear his bass on the album. Um, it's not bad, but, but, um, I think I might give it to, uh, Unmasked, because, because, I don't know, I, I like it, I like it more. Then we go into track two, Shandy versus, um, Shoot You Full of Love. Um, Shandy, a lot of people hate the song, and a lot of people like the song. For me, I actually like it. I like Shandy, it's a, 
I know it's not very, it's not like Kiss at all. And to be honest, the only Kiss member on on the song is Paul doing the rhythm guitar and the lead guitar, while bass is done by by a guy called Tom Harper and of course Anton Fig got the <clears throat> sorry Anton Anton Fig on the drums. But I love Sh- I love Shandy. I know it's very different, but it's it's catchy and it has a great music video as well. Them performing on stage, of course, as we all know that that was Peter Chris's last performance, well, last video appearance with Kiss until the reunion era. But yeah, I really like Shandy, and my mass is in the lead now. Two to nothing. Track three, we go to Talk to Me versus No Substitute. Um, Talk to Me, the first Ace Freely song I hear. I think it's the best song out of the three Ace Freely songs. This one, I used to, once again, I used to like it more, but um, not so much now, but I still like it. Um, it's catchy and all, and, and I like and I like the riffs and stuff, and the solo that Ace does is pretty good. Um, and I like it. It's not a bad song. Versus No Substitute. Um, no Substitute is kind of like the ballad of the album, kind of like. And, um... Robert Fleischman sings normal at the beginning, and then he gets into the high vocals afterwards. It's not... <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just, I just burped. Um, it's not a bad vo- It's not a bad song, but it's not too... But it's not that good either. I'm going to give it to um, Unmasked. So, Unmasked is in the lead now. 3 nothing. Oh, wait. I just realized. I forgot to talk about Shoot You Full of Love. Um, yeah, Shoot You Full of Love, once again, it's them trying to be sleazy. Them trying to... Them trying to, you know, sound like, ooh, we're, we're a sleazy, dangerous, glam band stuff. And the song's not bad, but yeah, once again, it, w- it wasn't as good as Shandy. Yeah, I had to throw that in there. I forgot to talk about it. <laughs> um, track four, uh, Naked City versus... Uh, crap, I forgot. What's track four in here? Animal. Oh, man, that, that one's kind of tough. Animal, I really like. That's one of the few good songs on the Vinnie Vincent album. It's really, it, it actually really good. Good riffs, catchy chorus, and the vocals don't bother me um, on that song. Really good song, but it's going up against Naked City though, which is my favorite song on Mask on a Mask. And I and a lot of people, I know a lot of you um, Kiss nerds like me out there think that's the best song as well. Naked City, great song as well. Um, very, very, you can hear a lot of police stuff in it, reggae stuff in it, but it's really catchy, and, and, um, probably, of course, Gene's best song on the album, and the best song on the album in general, so I'm gonna give it to a mass, but I'm telling you, if Animal would've gone up against, um, a few other songs on here, it, on side two of Unmasked, it would've won, but here it loses, so, Unmasked is in the lead for nothing, so far it's been a shutout. Track 5, What Makes the World Go Around, versus Twisted, I believe. Wait, isn't it Twisted that's track 5 here? Yep, Twisted. Alright, What Makes the World Go Around. Um, I used to like this song more when I was a kid. Now it's very dated. Um, very poppy. A lot of, like, even, like, the middle sections, just all keyboards and, and harmonies and stuff. It's a little bit too... Little bit too, uh, what, a little bit too sugary production here on this song. And it's, nah, it's not that good. Versus Twisted. Twisted, my favorite song on here. I love Twisted. Um, starts off kind of funny with them going, Twisted. And it goes like, they keep saying Twisted. Like, they have it on repeat going fast until it gets to like, and, and then it goes into that riff. I love that riff that, uh, Vinny does, that, that Vinny does. Um, and it's a really, really fast, pounding, good metal song. And uh, Vinnie Vincent's filing on the board. It's 4-1. to one. Now we flip both of these albums over. And uh, we go to... Um, what's it called? Tomorrow. Um, tomorrow. Not as bad as what makes the world go around. Still not perfect, but still a decent song. I love the guitar solo in it. Really good, really good guitar solo on there. A lot of people complain about the clapping. I don't really care about the clapping. It's just, it's just for like, it's just for like three seconds, and it's towards the end. 
To be honest, I had no idea there was clapping in the song until I heard people online complaining about it. I'm like, oh, wait, there's clapping in that Alyssa closely. Oh, yeah, there is. But yeah, Tomorrow is not a bad song. It's, it's decent. Versus, uh, wait, what's this open side two? Um, do you want to make love? Oh, boy. Them trying to be, try, try harding at being sleazy again. Uh... Man, both of these songs are not that great. Actually, no. I take that back. I actually kind of like Tomorrow. You know what? Tomorrow wins this one. Tomorrow wins this one. So, Kiss is now in the lead. 5-1. to one. Track 7. Um, we have Ace Freely's second song on the album. Two Sides of the Coin versus... Back on the Streets, which Vinny has done many times. He's done it here. He um, apparently he said that Paul demo did for demo did for the Creatures of the Night, and even before he was in Kiss, he was in a band called Warrior, and they and there's a demo out there of him singing that song. So yeah, Vinny's Vinny's um, uh, have had that song for years, and it's not a bad song. Once again, not one of the best on the album. Not as good as Animal or Twisted, but it it's still okay. It's still alright. Um, versus Two Sides of the Coin. Uh, Two Sides of the Coin, a lot of people hate this one. A lot of people say it's the worst song Ace really sang with Kiss. It's it's terrible and yada yada yada. I don't hate the song, but to me it's kind of fillerish. Um, it's Yeah, it's kind of fillerish. I think it's my least favorite out of the three Ace really songs. I don't hate it. It's just, it's just kind of forgettable for me. Once again, it's a little bit catchy, but once again, nothing too memorable here. So... I think I might give it back, give it to back on the streets. So be to be nice, I'm gonna give it to back on the streets. So right now, um, it's five to two. Track eight, she's so European versus I believe, uh, wanna be your victim. Yeah, wanna be your victim. Um, she's so European. I kind of like this song to be honest. I know the keyboards in here are very loud, very high in the mix and stuff. And it's very poppy this one probably probably with what makes the world go around is like the second most poppy song on here but the song is just too, it's catchy i love i love i love the catchy the catchy hooks in it and gene sings great i love the way gene sings on she's so european especially that screamy hits at the end it's it's a catchy pop song okay i know it's not kiss and i know a lot of you out there are hating me for it but yeah i like i like she's so european Versus I Want to Be Your Victim. I Want to Be Your Victim has some cool riffs and stuff, but to me it sounds like, you know, like kind of generic 80s, 80s sleaze metal. I know, I keep using that word a lot, but they're just trying so hard to be dangerous and sleazy and flashy at the same time. But yeah, um, I'm giving that one to Kiss. Uh, she's so European. So now it's 6-2. to two. Can Invasion get one more win one more or can they win the last two let's find out easy as it seems versus uh baby oh oh boy i hate baby O. that song gets on my nerves the chorus repetition is ridiculous the vocal Goals are way too high in this. It seriously sounds like a bunch of girls singing. Even the background vocals sounds like girls singing, and it gets on my nerves. I cannot stand this song. And I and and I literally played these two albums back to back just now before recording this. And oh my god, when I was listening to the to the Vinnie Vincent one and Baby, uh, I can remember why I don't re I don't really revisit this album that much. <laughs> I can't stand that song. I'm sorry if you guys like it. I'm sorry, okay? It's just an opinion, but I can't stand that song. I'm sorry. Versus Easy As It Seems. I love Easy As It Seems. It used to be my favorite track on here for 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 uh, years, but now it's Naked City, but I do like this one. And once again, you, you guys might be thinking, why Easy As It Seems was your favorite? It's very poppy and stuff again, but I like it, though. The bass work on it's really cool, kind of a little bit funkish, a little bit. Um, the keyboard's very high in the mix, but I but it's not like like keyboards that just like 
ding in your face. It's like, it's very disco-y as well, but I love it. I love Easy as a scenes. It's a catchy, catchy um, pop rock song, and plus the solos, the solo is pretty good as well. But yeah, um, Kiss goes out now to a seven to two lead. Now we head to the last track, which I know this is not the last track here. I realized um, while I was recording this that this um, has eleven tracks, and this has only ten. So I'll get rid of I'll get rid of the last song, "You're All That I Want." I'll just take that song out. If you want to know my opinion on that. It's not a bad song. It's actually kind of catchy. I don't mind it, but kind of feel rich to me. All right, so last song for now is Torpedo Girl versus the Tile Track Invasion. Um, Torpedo Girl, uh, the last Ace Frehley song on here, it's actually not that bad. It has a weird intro with the Battle Station Torpedo, Battle Station Torpedo. But then it goes into a cool drum beat and bass from Eric and Gene. Well, not Eric, um, Anton and Gene. And uh, it's not a bad song and stuff. It kind of loses me, though, when it gets into the chorus. But I love the bass work in it, though. It's not. It's really good. Versus Invasion. I like this one. It's actually not a bad song. I re- actually, I really enjoy this song, except for the endless guitar, the endless two or three minutes of guitar looping at the end. But once again, I'm not. I'm not gonna take that away from the song. I still really like Invasion. It's a catchy chorus. Uh, um, Robert Fleischmann's vocals don't bother me on here. It has some cool riffs and stuff. And I don't think it's. I don't think it's bad. I, I like it. And actually, I'm gonna give it to Vinnie Vincent on this one. So. Um, that's it, guys. Uh, that and uh, Julio. That's that's it for this track by track. Kiss won it seven to three. I had a feeling Ki- Kiss on Mass was gonna win against this album, but I knew um, Vinnie Vincent was gonna get a few points, and he did. He got three. So, um, anyways, thank you once again, Julio, for for requesting this to me. And any of you guys who have requests out there for a track by track. That you want me to do, just put down in the comments. Um, I'll, if I just put down in the comments, I'll try to do it. If I have both, if I have both of the albums that you guys request, I will do them. If I don't, I'm sorry, I can't do them. If I don't have them, if it's from bands I don't know or albums that I don't know. But anyways, guys, um, thank you for watching, and thank you so much for 72 subscribers. We made it over 70, guys. Thank you. And um, thank you guys for giving a lot of support and stuff uh, for all the views and great feedback on the Iron Maiden CD unboxing video I did last weekend and uh, the My Friend of Misery bass intro that I did for Metallica. Um, Yeah, just thank you guys for all the views, likes, and comments. It really means a lot to me. And um, hope hope you guys are having a great day, and I will see you guys later. Peace.